Hi everyone, I'm Abby, Field Application Engineer of Newberton. Welcome to the M031 Level 1 training. Today, I'm going to introduce the sample code of ABC. First of all, you can download the M031 BSP from Open Newberton, which is the GitHub of Newberton, and unzip the file. Then you can find the level one training folder under the sample code folder. All the level one training sample codes are under level one training folder. The path of ADC sample code is under BSP, sample code, level one training, level one ADC band gap calculate AVDD. Kyle, this folder. The project file Level 1 ADC band gap calculate AVDD is the sample code of ADC. In this sample code, we're going to use band gap voltage to calculate current AVDD. There are three steps for making it. First, in the factory, we set the reference voltage as 3072 millivolt. And then, using this voltage to do analog to digital conversion, to get the value of band gap. After getting the value of band gap voltage, we store it as a built-in data in our MCU. The built-in data value of band gap can then be read from the function FMC read band gap. In this example, we get the built-in band gap value by calling FMC read band gap function and store it in the parameter built-in data. Second, we connect AVDD that we want to measure and use ADC get conversion data function to get the current band gap value. The converted band gap value will be stored in the parameter conversion data. Finally, we have two parameters, built-in data and conversion data. We can use these two parameters with below formula to calculate current AVDD voltage. Before the demo, we would like to show you the source codes of our sample code. We'll go through the sample code via Kyle IDE to let you know better about it. Let's open the Kyle project file of ADC. Let's start from the main function. In main function, first, we call system init function to initialize system. The initialization includes the setting of system clocks and multifunction pins. In system init function, we'll focus on settings related to ADC. In this sample code, the clock source of ADC is set to PCLK and the divider is set to 2. Since the PCLK is 48 kHz, the frequency of ADC would be 48 divided by 2, which is 24 kHz. You can refer to the function ADC function test for detailed settings about ADC. In ADC function test, we first use ADC open function to set the ADC input mode and operation mode of a specific ADC channel. In this example, we set ADC channel 29, which is the band gap channel, as single input mode and set the analog to digital conversion operation mode as single mode. Next, we use ADC set extend sample time function to set the extended sample time as 71 ADC clock times, which is 3 microseconds in this case. After all the settings are done, we can call ADC start convert function to start the analog to digital conversion. The conversion data could be got by calling the function ADC get conversion data. We store the conversion result in the parameter conversion data. Then we call FMC read band gap function to get the built in data of band gap. We store the built in data of band gap in the parameter built in data. After getting the conversion data from ADC channel and built in data via FMC, we could calculate the AVDD value by the formula. The hardware we are going to use is the Evaluation Board NewMaker M032SE. We'll connect the Evaluation Board with the computer when we are doing demo. 
Before connecting the evaluation board to the computer, we have to turn on the virtual COM port on the evaluation board to enable the UR transmission. The way to turn it on is to switch number 1 and number 2 of the virtual COM port to on. Afterwards, connecting the evaluation board and the computer via USB cable. If the connection is successful, you will see the virtual COM port status from the device manager of the computer. After connecting the evaluation board with the computer, we are going to show you how to do programming. In this demo, we'll use Kyle IDE, for example, to show how to build image and program. In Kyle, you may click the Rebuild button to compile, decode, and generate image. If the compile is successful, you may click the Load button to program image into our microcontroller on the evaluation board. You may also refer to the video, the best MCU beginner course, lead your way to the Nivitant development platform for more detailed information, such as evaluation board introduction or steps of IDE download and programming. After the programming is done, connect the board to the computer. Turn on the terminal. Set the UR COM port and bow rate and connect. Then press the reset button on the evaluation board to restart. You'll see the log messages from the terminal. From the log messages, you can see the AVDD value calculated from the formula. Above is the introduction and demo of level one training ADC sample code. Thanks for watching. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you have questions. You may subscribe our channel for more information.